Hey, Bass Lightning here, and I have arrived at the Hot Rod Nationals, Essex Junction, Vermont. Come on and get your cars down here, man, because this is just insane. I'm going to give you guys some footage. I uh, was able to go live with this, so I'm just going to walk around a bit and let you guys take a look. <laughs> There's the Sport Car USA tent with Lee Baudet, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> There's a nice scat pack like mine, only mine's the hell raisin color. That is super cool. If it don't take the paint. Yep, 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 that's right. Yeah, get down here, folks. There's, there's a whole, like, craft section of the building where they're selling arts and crafts and all kinds of stuff. Food, all kinds of stuff going on here. I've not even begun to look at outside. There's over 2,000 cars expected here. Hot rods, muscle cars, sports cars, whatever you name it, it's here. I mean, this is just insane. Look at this. Pure eye candy. 572 Chevy, man, that is nasty. This thing must go. <laughs> and I'm sure it's loud. Now, I'm a Mopar head, but I appreciate all muscle car culture related cars look at this chevelle ss oh my god that's sick the paint scheme that is bad to the bone Now here's some modern muscle, definitely modded and lowered. I don't know about how much mechanical modding, but suspension modding, new rims and tires. That's the real deal, man. Charger Hellcat. Now if this is a Quentin Brothers product, it probably has more than the 717 horsepower. I'm not sure, I'd have to talk to the guys. I think they're right over there, but there's just way too much to show here. <laughs> I can't even begin to show you guys everything, but I'll give you a piece of my impressions and my experience here. There's a scat pack. That's a, well, actually, it's a, it's a TA392 wide body package. And I know this is for sale at, at Sport Car USA Handys. Chevrolet up in St. Albans. This is the same one. I remember being in the showroom with it. Very cool. If I get another Challenger, oh, here's a Hellcat. I don't want to get too close and get hollered at here, so I'll get on the outside of the ropes, the gate, whatever you want to call it. There's another Hellcat. There's a Charger. Now, these are some of the ones that were from the show, um, the car show that I was in not too long ago up in St. Albans, Vermont. There's a Hellcat, wide body. There's a Mustang, GT. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a 350 or a 500. It's either a GT350 or a GT500. Might be the 500, I don't know. It doesn't say on it, on the badging. Oh, it's a 350, yes it does. See, GT350, which is still, you know, scat pack level horsepower, 500 horsepower. Nasty Mustang. Here's another one, convertible. Nasty. All right, I'm gonna try to spread out here. and This is just sensory overload for me, sensory overload. 
There's Lee Bodet over there, the man, the myth, the legend, underneath the Sport Car USA tent, greeting everybody. I just shook hands with him and spoke to him. Very cool guy, leading the Sport Car USA, uh, you know, the, the Sport Car USA thing. He's their, their spokesman, their, their front man for everything that they do for running the car shows and the podcast. And he's also on WOKO. He's a uh, morning roundup announcer. He's not doing that as much now, though. Uh, on the WOKO country radio station there uh, here in Vermont. All right, well, I'm going to spread out because this is just totally insane i'm trying to hold my hold my emotions back here because i'm about ready to explode here there's a corvette i think that's a stingray oh no it's a z08 Zero six. I'm not sure which. Can't really read it. Hey, is this a Z08 or a Z06? Six. six. Okay. Cool. It's hard to read. Can't tell if it's an eight or a six. Let's get right up to it. I don't want to be creepy. So. There's a Civic. I'm sure that's very quick and very modded. <laughs> oh, nice Plymouth GTX build going on here. Man, this place is packed, full of enthusiasts. Here is a Scat Pack wide body shaker with carbon fiber accents. That is nasty. This is one of the new ones, I think. Just trying to make sure I'm giving you guys the real information here. Yeah, that's... Whoa. I don't think that's the shakedown. I think it's just... It's a Quentin Brothers product, so... Yeah, it's got the QB in there. That is super cool, man. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, that's not that's not what I thought it was. That's a custom build scat pack with carbon fiber accents, carbon fiber shaker. Yeah, Challenger build. SEMA show car. Goes from Vermont to Vegas. Okay. Car stolen with trailer. <laughs> 14 car chase. Oh my god, 14 police car. <laughs> oh my god, T bone police car released from evidence to still make SEMA. Oh my word, are you kidding me? <laughs> if this is Quentin Brothers, it is more than just a stock scat. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Oh yeah, look, there's a Pro Charger right there. So right there, this thing's probably cranking out pretty close to 700 horsepower, depending on what else they've done to it. Nasty. Quite the story behind that Challenger build. My word.
Got my Sport Car USA memorabilia, a couple shirts and some water and some stickers. Very nice of those guys. I'll take you outside just for a little bit here. Uh, I can't do that. That's right, because of the no, the music. I don't want the uh, copyright issues to uh, come into play here. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do much video outside. Just that they're playing music and the copyright thing when I transfer it to YouTube. It's alright, there's plenty inside here. That is super cool. There's a nice hot rod here. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do a lot of outside, and that's where most of the hot rods are. Um, that copyright thing, I think Facebook, I can get away with it, but when I transfer it to my YouTube channel, I can't have other people's music playing in the background. There's a copyright issues. Which is unfortunate. I'll get some pictures, though. All right, let me see what I can do here. Over and check out the dragster. Very cool. I'll check out this vet here. This is an older vet, a carbon fiber hood. That's very cool. All right, folks. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to bring outside footage. I can try it in a section outside where there's no music playing. Um, and then I'll try to get you some footage there. If not, I'll just, you know, I'm going to upload a bunch of pictures of all the builds and hot rods and stock tune stuff that I think is really cool to add on to my social media page. So... Thanks for joining me live. This is Base Lightning reporting to you from the Hot Rod Nationals. And uh, I will get back to you soon with some uploads very soon. All right. Thanks for joining me. Get your butt down here if you're in the area. Later.